it is what is going to take us into our conversation with private legal practitioner Justice Abdullah is also a law lecturer. Let's bring him in right now in terms of what we are to expect. Uh, counsel, I appreciate that you could speak to us. And so the determination of this substantive matter holds key to whether or not any government business can take place. How quickly can that determination uh, happen considering that Parliament could uh, possibly grind to a halt. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I completely understand why you would put it that way, because, of course, the min minority, the new minority have indicated their position that until the suit is determined, they are not joining um, the House to conduct any business. Um, and so you're yeah, right in putting it that way. However, I do not think that um, that is feasible under the circumstances, because for a suit to commence and eventually be determined to its finality, it takes a while. Um, I, I, it's, it's difficult to project um, into the future as to when uh, the suit could be over, but the suit at the Supreme Court could naturally take more than three months to, to see to its finality. And so um, I would probably take this whole notice as just a notice expressed out of anger and frustration, and not necessarily the the actual decision that um, the minority would like to pro I mean pro proceed with going forward. Um, so when you file a suit at the Supreme Court, I mean let me just run us through briefly and see how it goes. When you file a suit at the Supreme Court, the uh, the petit, I mean the, the 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 plaintiff himself would have on the average about 14 days um, to complete his processes. I mean. From the day he files his break, um, he has approximately 14 days. Now, let's assume that because of the exigencies of this particular case, um, be able to serve everything on the appropriate parties on time, and the appropriate parties would also have, um, on the average, around the same period of time, um, 14 days or thereabout, to also file their response. Now, that alone, I mean, just this alone takes us to a month, um, uh, give and take. That's a month gone. Mm. Um, and so, if you take this one month out, now then the parties would also have to um, agree on the issues um, to be to be determined by the court. And sometimes that discussions and negotiations could also take a bit of a while. Uh, maybe um, it could take a week more for for that to also find um, a suite. Um, and then when it's eventually filed, before if you are lucky, um, notices could be sent. Uh, by the registrars, um, allowing the parties, I mean, fixing the case for for here. Right. Now, that also could take another two weeks or thereabout. If we assume that because this case is so urgent, well, I mean, to the parties, and so the, maybe the registrars or the court would like to abridge the time, you are still talking about a give and take, about a week um, extra uh, would, would pass. And that takes us to one and a half months um, from the moment of the suit being filed. That's about minimum one and a half months. Now, after that, there is no guarantee that on the day of the hearing, um, judgment will be delivered. But most, most likely, on the day of the hearing, if the court is even of the opinion that all sides have done all they need to do, and so it's, it is right for judgment to be delivered, give and take, that would also be agent for between three, I mean, two weeks to any other period of time that none of us can project into. So, so essentially, it will be, it will be a, a, a difficult task to, to see this through and decide not to return. Do you foresee them uh, returning to, to Parliament as a, as a minority, Absolutely. though? Absolutely. Absolutely. They, they, uh, they have no choice because government business would grind to a halt. And you cannot have government business grinding to a halt simply because of anger or frustration. I, would, I see more dialogue happening going forward from today, more dialogue, because what has happened cannot be reversed at this moment. It can never be reversed. Um, and so nothing can change. And so what it means is that there has to be more dialogue, there has to be more negotiations, and there has to be more, um, I mean, George Owen to come to some level of um, gentleman understanding in the way government business can progress without um, all these angers and frustrations mm. leading the way. This is what reasonable people would do, and I expect that 
that happens right from now. I would expect, naturally, the president to intervene because really it is his government that would suffer the most. All of us are victims. But at the end of the day, if you are fighting for the interest of the Ghanaian, then you expect that the two sides, i.e. the MPP, the NDC, particularly headed by the leaders in parliament and indeed the leaders at the executive level headed by the president, would have to have more dialogue. And I believe that would be the best way in resolving uh, this difficult task that we find ourselves in at this moment. Just, just finally, on the expectation of the NDC, we sought to walk uh, viewers through uh, the possible limitations to uh, possible impeachment and then a review or whether cancellation of some taxes. There's that expectation that they should be able to do a lot more now that they have a majority within this time frame. How realistic are these expectations of the NDC? Um, I think that um, it, it's just, um, we find ourselves in a, a very nice um, romantic environment at this moment. And so it is easy and natural that we have some of these expectations and feelings going forward. But realistically, um, first, because of the time constraints, um, we have been unable to achieve so much on the NDC side. There have been very little could be achieved um, by way of successes. Um, if there will be anything that um, will probably they could do. It will be how to refine um, proposals and loans that are currently existing. But reversing decisions that have been taken in the past um, will be almost an impossibility at this moment. I think that things are likely to remain the way they are. But those coming and those existing, I mean, new proposals that are coming or new proposals that are still um, in the, um, mm. in, um, on the table, those ones, they could fine tune them um, this time to um, suit the interest of the new majority right. leadership and indeed Ghanaians in general. But things in the past can be very difficult to be changed at this moment. Realistically, this is how things would be. Right. I appreciate, I appreciate the, the thoughts and the education as well. That's private legal practitioner, Justice Abdullah.